This is a demonstration of our working code. We have two classes, the chatbot class and the bot response class. The bot response class implements all of the open NLP code and all it does is it takes the user input and it pairs it with a certain category. I'll go over the code in just a sec. The chatbot class is the main class that has the JFrame code and all of the interaction between the user and the bot through a, a window and it just uses the code, the functions in the bot response class to display the to choose an output based on the category and display that output to the user. So first I'll go through the bot response code. So like I discussed, the open NLP has a couple main processes and most of them use pre-trained models that come with the open NLP library. So all we have to do is just instantiate the appropriate classes and load the appropriate bin files, binary files. So uh, the main method just had testing code and print statements. Uh, the first thing is detecting the sentences. So the reason that we used a train model for this is because sometimes the user's input isn't perfect, and so we want the bot to be a little bit more intelligent with detecting what the different sentences are. So all this does is it takes a string file, a single string file, and then returns an array of the sentences. So the overall format of how a pre-trained model is implemented is first we stream the input through a file. So this is just the path on the on this machine, and um, this is the name of that binary file. And then we instantiate the model that is used by the sentence detector class, which has the descent detect function, which you run on that larger string and that converts that large string into an array of sentences. And then we return that array. Then we tokenize, which right, is to pull those individual words. So we take, again, the text and it returns an array of strings and each string is that token. So same thing, we stream the input file, different bin file there, and then loaded the model, ran the tokenize function from the tokenizer class. Then um, this one is a little bit different. We didn't exactly use this to sort our code into categories, but we this just allows uh, certain entities to be detected in the in the text. So the ones that have pre-trained models that come with open NLP are date, location, organization, person, or people, money, percentage, and time. So we loaded all of those files, instantiated all of those models, um, gave those models to each of the respective name finder instances and then detected all of the instances of that entity in the text and put all those instances in an array. So we put that into a 2D array and then return that. Okay, and then this is the part of speech tagging, the POS tagging. So for reference, there's nouns, proper nouns, determiner, verbs, preposition, conjunction, to, and adjectives. So yeah, again, we loaded the appropriate file, then uh, instantiated the POS model class, then the tagger, and then ran the tag function, and then returned the string with all the tags, the string array with all the tags. Um, then we lemmatized the model. So this one required both tokens and POS tags. So we took both of those string arrays as an input and returned a string array of the uh, the lemmatized tokens back to the uh, caller. And then, uh, th yeah, so for those, those are all similar in code because those all had pre-trained models that OpenNLP provided. But for categorizing, it didn't exactly work that way because our domain was specific. So we wanted the categories to be exactly what we wanted them to be. And again, our domain was AI and literature. So I had to make a text file with all of the categories. So the ones we decided on were greeting, conversation, continue. Uh, so kind of like an intermediate step book inquiry asking about AI and literature in general, book recommendations, so specific books that the user might want to read, book trends, uh, meaning what does what do books and literature reveal about people's opinions of AI, author inquiry, like who are the authors who writes them, uh, AI inquiry, like what is AI, and bot inquiry, like what is the bot, who are you kind of stuff, and then the end of the conversation. So I just kind of brainstormed what that could look like and just put key phrases that the uh, model could be trained off of. Um, back to bot response class. So yeah, this is the function that trains the model. So it returns that model um, and doesn't take any input. So we streamed the categories text file and then basically trained it and returned that model. Then using that model, which was an input parameter for the categorize function, we just did the same thing, except instead of instantiating a model that came with OpenNLP, we just directly created a model and use the model that we passed in as a parameter to instantiate the document categorizer class. And then um, what we did is we compared the user's input to all the categories and decided, used a prediction algorithm to decide what was the best um, 
category for that input and then printed that category for reference and returned it. Uh, and eventually this was the main thing that came out of this entire class. So we just combined all of these functions into a find category function so we didn't have to call them all individually. So it would detect the sentence, tokenize. Um, we commented out the entities because it's not relevant for our purpose, but it is another uh, capability that this code has. Uh, tagged part of speech, lemmatized, trained the model, category, or found the category, returned the category. So the way this looks in terms of implementation, uh, we have a bunch of JFrame imports here, and then we just set up some like chat area, chat box, the scrolling features, some borders, um, and then fix those aesthetics here. And then we added an action listener that just uh, allows the program to listen for text from the user uh, upon pressing en the enter key. And then once that's tried, once that's done, we have a try catch thing where the uh, program will try to determine the category using the bot response find category uh, method. Again, that was the one that combined all of the functions of the open NLP library. And then um, it prints, it sets the response based on the category. So I'll go over the function for that and then runs bot response. So bot is just a way to print that out to the user. Um, yeah, so a bit about the response category for each response function. For each category, we had an array of responses, and then we just generated a random number between zero and the uh, upper, uh, the length of the array, and then return that. And then, yeah, so we had that for each category. It takes in the category as a parameter right here. So now I'll do a quick demo of the chatbot class. So this is the window that pops up. Um, and actually, I'll just go to the categories window so we can look at what we can ask. So first I'll just start simple and just say something like hi. So if you look at the terminal window, it's running and it categorized it as a greeting. So the bot responded hello. And so it's not the most perfect model and it's not that accurate, but it's just kind of a, a basic model that shows the implementation of the open NLP library. So for example, I might say, um, what is one science fiction or who is a science fiction author that has written about AI? So yeah, it kind of lags a little bit because it's training the model and then it's comparing uh, the text to the categories and categorizing it. So yeah, I categorized that as an author inquiry. So it said it might be nice to read some no read novels written by Martha Wells. So that's an example of an AI author, uh, a science fiction author that's written about AI. Um, or what if I say, what is artificial intelligence? So yeah, categorize that as an AI inquiry. So the concept of artificial intelligence, AI is not new, but its implementations are becoming increasingly advanced in the modern era due to the development of new computers capable of high performance computing. Um, next one, I can try bot inquiry. This one is a little bit eh, but what, or I'll say, who are you, how do you work, for example. Yeah, see it categorized that as a greeting, so. Uh, that can show the limitations of the model. Um, or if I say something like, okay, wow. So kind of just no response, no inquiry there. Uh, yeah, categorize that as a conversation continued. So they said, is there anything else I can help you with? Suppose I say, thanks, that's all for now. Goodbye. Okay, so it says goodbye. You may type quit to end this conversation and that'll just end the program. Yeah, that's how our model works. 